Um, I'm Jesse. I work with Sustain Dane, which is a nonprofit in Madison. Um, we've got rain barrels here today. And you had asked why a rain barrel? I mean, there might be a metric size. Yeah, you know, people people live in the city. They've got their garden hose. You know, here in the Midwest, yeah. water doesn't cost that much. You know, people don't really even think about how they oh, use yeah. it. Right. Then how do you, what, what would be the in somebody's self-interest? I mean, you got to start the, the there, right? right. What, what's, what's in people's self-interest to use this? Barrel. And then second, yeah. what's the, envir yeah. the environmental okay. ethical okay. angle? Well, in terms of self-interest, um, we haven't found any, you know, scientific research to back this up, but everyone who has one who waters plants and has a garden says this water, if you're in the city, you have no fluorine, you have no chloride, chlorine, and the plants like it better, it's soft water. So that's the self-interest. Um, also, in terms of if you have your water from a municipality, um, about four, at least Madison, 40% of the water a home uses is for outdoor uses, watering lawns, watering plants, washing cars. And so that, that's water that's already been purified. Purified. That is drinking. That is water you can drink. And it's water that's already had energy put into getting Yeah, because getting you have to, to pump house. it from, and at least in Madison, um, our water source is from an aquifer, which is, you know, 700, 1,000 feet below the surface. And the electricity to pump that water up and to move around the city um, it's Madison's greatest electricity use for the water utility. Mm. It's bigger than even traffic lights and the street divisions. So by, by participating in this, you're, you're taking the burden off of the yes, municipal... Yes, you're reducing your municipal water load. So if you can reduce your municipal water load by about 40%, well, right, you know, water may seem plentiful right now, but the drinking water that we have access to, it's a very small percentage of what water is around if we yeah. can use less of that. So. so you want to say a little bit about what this device is? Yeah, well the rain reserve is, um, it's the rain reserve rain <laughs> barrel and it's a very unique system. There's a lot of open systems and what's special about this is, I don't know if you want to check it out, um, during a large um, downpour I mean, this this 55 gallon drum is going to fill up very quickly. Right. And when it fills, if you have an open system, you have overflow. It's going to make a mess. If it's near your home, it could cause issues in the foundation, splatter up against your housing, cause moisture issues. So this is closed. There's also no mosquitoes. But when the barrel is full, you can see the water is no place else to go. It's going to come back up this tube, go into the diverter. And once it reaches this um, cusp here, it's going to go back into your downspout, so it keeps the integrity of your downspout intact. And it's also virtually clog-free. All the debris should be coming through the middle. Um, at well, what? That burp. <laughs> so if there is any debris that doesn't go through the downspout like it should, there are teeth right here, and you can just open the door, reach in, and grab it out. So it's kind of solved all of the issues with open systems. And, and you, you guys are a nonprofit. Yes, so in Madison. The, the, by people buying this, what, what, what do they also have the opportunity to contribute to? Um, Sustain Dane, which is a nonprofit in Madison, we do a lot with um, just creating a sustainable community. We're really involved in the eco municipalities as well as discussion courses. And, and what's the website? Um, it is rainfordane.com or sustain dane or rainfordane.com. It is a dot com. So okay. rain, rainreserve.com, rainfordane.org. Okay. So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.